in your side. Sorry mm. to keep you waiting. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. Welcome back. Welcome back to a new day in the never changing time loop deja vu of Genshin Impact, where we are ahead and stuck in this place. I don't know how to get out. Who is playing with our mind? No clue, no clue. Is it our mind they're playing with? Or Denyu does? No clue what's happening here. So let's go ahead and see if we can solve it. And as you remember, I am going to go ahead and choose decision, not what I choose before, just in the case I got break the cycle. Not at all. I arrived early. Wait, everyone's gonna sleep here, huh? right? I'm on Pixie's mm -hmm. time. So it's not working. Did you not get enough sleep? So it's not an officially a deja vu time loop because I'm doing well. every time no need to worry. it loops, you're refreshed uh, shall we again. Go? Let's start with the stalls over there. Hmm. Great idea. Let's get going. Traveler? Only we remember, but Paimon doesn't until we remind her. Oh, okay, we're having a different perspective now. Can enjoy the Sub -Zero's festival. Four, wait, what? what? Oh, -ho, I like your confidence. Oh, no my goodness. hesitation at all. Oh, congratulations. Number four is indeed Sunsetia. Hmm. Whoa. Whoa, I pick different ones every time. <gasps> Incredible luck. Whoa, number one's the lizard tail. Um, Paimon's not really interested in the other flavors. Don't worry, Paimon. Oh, wait, uh, wait, wait, what? Wait, <laughs> how did you know? Don't tell me that you already knew which flavor was in each this box. This is new. This is new. What? He was right about all of them? Oh boy. That couldn't have been luck. How? How is this possible? I packed all those boxes this morning, and they've been sealed ever since. Hmm. You couldn't have known beforehand. At least he's not accusing us of cheating. Mind reading? X-ray vision? Or some <laughs> kind of magic trick? This is way too freaky. Mm-hmm. You hey, tell me, buddy. Since when did you get superpowers? D tonight. <gasps> whoa, whoa, whoa. Am I seeing stuff? What was hey, that? Where are you Going. Follow me, Paimon! Alright, so when we chased after it mentioned the uh, quest update is a familiar face for some reason. But um we never we never uh saw what her before. Why did we come here? Paimon, do you trust me? Something is up, Paimon, something is up. No, not up in the sky, but something is up. Traveler? He hello? <laughs> Whoa! That's... She believes us. Oh! Wait, what? What happened to the bird? It just disappeared. What is this? An alternate, alternate dimension we're traveling through? Hello, young lady. Paimon, is that you? Uh, a different, a different Paimon? Hello? Whoa. Wait, what? That's... <laughs> Isn't that Dunyu's son? <laughs> Our face looks so funny. Wait, 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 wait. What's happening here? Why are there two Dunyu's odds? You already know that this isn't your first mm. Sub-Zero's festival, don't you? Yes. I'm sure you already know how to use this. Yes. A knowledge capsule? Where did you get it? What's inside? Power, Paimon, power. You should use it too, Paimon. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you know Paimon? Are you cousins? You both fly. Well, uh. this seems kind of sketchy, but Paimon feels like this is what we should do. Ooh. Paimon, reach out your hand. Oh boy, oh boy, uh, too fast, too quickly. Oh, I uh, did not even what get all that. <laughs> Memory! Whoa. Huh? No. The 30th? 40th? Oh my Just goodness. How many times have we been to the Sub Zero's festival? Let's make an even have 50. We've been trapped in a single day? If it weren't for you, we wouldn't have even <gasps> realized. Hello. What the heck was inside <laughs> that knowledge capsule? <laughs> memories? Hmm. Your memories are still scrambled? 
Try your best to remember. This isn't the first time we've met. I've and never I seen you on my travels. A long time ago. Hmm. Uh, let Paimon think. Help me, Paimon, help me. Oh, it's coming back. <gasps> Meeting you was the real catalyst for restoring our memories. And the knowledge capsule was just your means of showing our minds the way. Uh, what about everyone else? Why are you only helping the two of us? She likes us. Your sense of deja vu is stronger than everyone else's, yes? Thank you. As for an explanation, you two received the blessing of Dendro. And you also have special, sensitive constitutions. It was as if a single sheet of paper was separating those memories from your consciousness. And you just take the paper out and whoop. A familiar question. I think this is the seventh <laughs> time you asked that. Hmm. As you can see, she isn't doing well. You probably sensed it too. The Dunyarzad you were just with is different from the first Dunyarzad you met. How much did we meet? That first Dunyarzad is in front of you right now and... <gasps> she doesn't have a lot of time left. Oh boy, oh boy, there's no cure. Uh, break all this cycle. <laughs> Looks like you're almost done sorting out your brain. Thank you! Oh yeah, I'm Nahita. Nahita, hopefully I remember your name. I'm not good with names. Good. You passed the test. Thank you. What's happening? You can awaken our memories, and you seem like you know what's going on. Oh, wait. Please don't tell Paimon even you don't know. Everything in this world runs in a loop. Mm -hmm. This cycle is called the samsara. You, me, and everyone else are all stuck inside the one-day samsara. What? But why this Ask day? Ask the truth. That's on you to find out. Oh! If you were told the truth instead of discovering it yourselves, it would literally blow your <sighs> mind. I don't know how you'd be after that. Um... I can only give you surface level help. Like okay. bits of information and subtle hints. For the rest of the time, I'll be doing all I can to slow down Dunyarzad's illness. Do, do we have to talk to everyone then? She looks like she isn't doing well at all. Her illness gets worse after each Sub-Zero's festival. It's like they're stacking on top of each other. If we can break out of this Samsara, I might be able to save her. <gasps> but as things are right now, she's just a small bird in the sky that's about to lose its last feathers. Oh, wait. All I can do is raise a gale to Is it the sky with one fall. feather? You sure love to use weird analogies. <laughs> analogies are wonderful tools. They let you use existing knowledge to understand unfamiliar things. Okay, so, with what you know so far, um, what do you think the truth is? Do, do I have to select some? Um, dig through my brain. When you enter a state of contemplation, uh, when you enter a state of contemplation, you choose any text entry to interpret it. This interpretation process takes involved in analysis of the text entry and may you new entries once interpreted you may submit oh okay so this is what I say we have to select this is really nice some text entries might be associated with one another once interpreted select associated to choose another text entry then select trigger association you can gain new entries by oh oh my so a lot of trial and error then this is one of the text entry current page can be used as a conclusion, then select the entry before choosing to submit. Oh boy! We are digging through our bread. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. We know it's deja vu deja vu. Abnormal fatigue. Uh I don't think this is anything. These two, I don't think it's anything. We know it's deja vu time loop. The Grand Sage is um very interesting and the festival is something why we are um in it, so we're gonna go ahead and select this. We've already experienced the Sub Zero's <gasps> festival many times, and the day of the festival seems to be in a perpetual samsara. I like that that we're hearing our own voice. Oh, um, it said, um, the second one has to be something associated with so. With the festival, it's not linked to the uh, the sage or the result. It's the deja vu. Every time we go to these festivals, it's linked to the time loop. What's happening right now seems to have happened before. This feeling has been getting stronger and stronger. Mm-hmm. There we go. All right, all right. 
Don't know what happened there. Oh, okay, so that should be it. Mm -hmm. and the flow of time All right. is endless. So not sure why it wasn't clicked. Day. There we go, right? Yeah. A time loop. Hmm. You've given similarly wrong answers in the past. Th thank you. A pity. Oh. But, but that, that, that's, the wrong that's how the options they gave me. I thought that made a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. It feels like time's just repeating itself. A simple time loop can't explain some of the phenomena. Mm. So anything you that's out of the ordinary then. Of information. Unfortunately, I can't give you any more hints. Oh, where's her shoes? <laughs> Oh, oh boy, oh boy. Is it a rush against time? Junior is odd. The Subzeris Festival is happening every day, but that doesn't mean we can waste an infinite mm -hmm. amount of them. Hurry and find the <gasps> truth before today's festival ends. Wait, wait, th that's a lot of pressure. Eh? Let's think about our current situation. All right. To save Dunyarzad, we mm -hmm. have to escape the samsara of the Subzeru's festival. Mm-hmm. It's but a deja vu that, time loop. We need to figure out what's happening. Nahida rejected the idea of a time loop, hmm. so we must have missed something, right? What the Raymond's memories say that we've already done this many times, but let's go talk to people again. It's more productive than sitting here and scratching our heads. Oh, uh, that's true. Mm, why don't we see with those stall owners. Hey there. Hello, my hey, good man. It's you guys again. Where's your cultured friend? Uh, she's sleeping. She, uh, she's feeling a little unwell. We need information. I see. Did you come back to buy something? I guarantee the freshness of my products. Hmm. I harvested them from the forest just yesterday. Hmm. Huh? What brought this about? I hurried back from the forest yesterday, and I'm selling protos here today. Okay. I haven't felt anything strange. Hmm. Hmm. Um, to put it another way, if you really, really think about it, was yesterday <gasps> truly yesterday? Did you actually come back from the forest <laughs> yesterday? Please tell me we don't what confuse kind them. What of philosophical I, nonsense I knew it. is this? Are you two daydreaming? Didn't you know that no one dreams in Sumeru? Mm. Go somewhere else if you want to find someone to daydream with. <laughs> okay, uh, so not him. He actually has a point. Is this a dream? Is everyone dreaming? Paimon, get what he's saying. Mm. Mm -hmm. True. It's so weird that people here don't dream. Why is that? That machine or anyway, whatever he's talking about. If this all really were just a dream, we would have woken up a long time ago. Mm. Let's keep asking around. Oh, it's you two. Good day. Was my divination so accurate that you felt compelled to compliment me in person? <laughs> Ooh, I knew it. <gasps> I told you, the god's divination is highly accurate. You just hadn't fully understood its significance yet. <laughs> uh, huh, You're huh, really huh. excited about this, huh? That's exactly why we came back. Help us better understand it. Uh, help you better understand it? W well, <laughs> well, that isn't exactly no, what I is excel at. not a professional yet. So, you're admitting that you don't have a clue? Anyway, what kind of situation did you get into? Huh? Uh, hold on a second. I thought you guys just lost your wallet or, or fell for a scam. What? What you just said. Are you serious? Does that kind of thing actually happen in real life? I think so. I knew you weren't going to believe it. Marvelous. Hmm. Truly marvelous. I believe you. Recall the interpretation of your divination. The moon, illusions, and lies. It really felt like an omen. Are you gonna help? When you say it like that, hmm. the divination does sound like it's related to what's going on. Can you read any more into it? I believe that the Archon's revelations are never more than vague hints. Anything more specific is beyond the reach of mere mortals. So the book only says, if you trust, trust your instincts oh and overcome boy. your fears, the sun will surely rise. So that's how it is. 
Looks like fortune telling is just fortune telling. Uh, don't worry, we will use that somehow. Practical problems. We haven't made any progress. Mm -mm. Who else can we talk to? I, I don't. Oh, true. Hmm. Paima remembers that we tried talking to her a couple of times, but she always thinks we're playing pranks on her. You think she'll brush us off again? Hopefully, she does care for her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If we tap into Dia's strong sense of responsibility as a mercenary, then she'll definitely take us seriously. Hmm. At this time of day, Dia's probably just finished beating up those kidnappers. Let's go find her. I'm fine, my lady. It's just a scratch. Perfect timing. Both of you are here. Is it about the, her Paimon, weapon, the Traveler, Claymore? You came at just the right time. Listen, there was a dangerous get. Huh? You mm. saw? Then why didn't you jump in earlier? <laughs> we just watched Someone her. was protecting Miss Dunier's I could have went all out. <sighs> anyway, can you do something for me? You want the traveler to take Dunier's odd somewhere to rest up mm. while you check to see if there's still any kidnappers around. Did Paimon get that right? How did you Perfect, know what I was going to say? Perfect. We need to say something convincing. It's the uh, the her weapon, right? People from okay, I don't. It has to be the claymore. It, I don't think she wasn't there with us when we talked about this, and I don't think it's uh, maybe it is this one. No, no, no. This one might be for someone else. The the claymore. Let's talk about her claymore. Dia sold her great sword to mm -hmm. raise additional funds, and then she was injured because she wasn't used to her new weapon. That's what she said. Tell her, traveler. Um, uh, boom. <laughs> Boom. I didn't tell anyone about that. Mm -hmm. Including Miss Dunyarzad. You couldn't have known. And just now, you literally took the words right out of my mouth. Why don't you What's trust us? On? Trust us. All right. So this is the situation. <laughs> it's kind of hard to believe what you just told me. First, let me make something clear. Most of us desert dwellers might not be the scholarly type, but we do have basic common sense. She's quieter than usual. Mm -hmm. Uninterested in anything and Look really gloomy. Hmm. Yeah, Where's she me? isn't the same as before, but her parents said that this is how she was like at first. Huh? At first? Wait, what? I don't quite understand what you're all talking about. I'll go rest on the bench over there. Hmm. Thanks. My lady, are you... Angry? She's like a statue. All right, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt since you knew about my greatsword. Let's make this a quick trip. Miss Dunyarzad isn't completely safe here. Got it. Hello. We we brought some bun. Is that okay? We brought a friend. Are you busy? Sure, not sure if it's okay. I thought I told you that it won't help to bring anyone here. <laughs> wait, wait. When did you we say just that? We wanted her to see the real Dunyarzad's condition. The real Dunyarzad? Uh, where and who are you talking to? Uh, a ghost? Huh? Uh, I told you that you two are special. Other people can't see me or Miss Dunyarzad here. Oh boy, she's not gonna believe us no more. Um. Focus. Focus. Hold on. Over there. Is that? Wait. Wow. Mm. How perceptive. Does she have invisible antennae? Miss Dunyarzad, she's she's lying down here, isn't she? How's she doing? Oh, she's good. Her condition's really bad, and she's basically in a coma. How did you know she was here? I can sense her mm. aura. I... <clears throat> There are also lingering feelings of something like regret or disappointment. Oh boy. What happened? Do you believe we us told now? You. The Sub Zero's festival has been repeating itself. So you think the sages are behind this? Oh, yeah. yeah, they've always been against us. But Wouldn't how surprise are me they if they're using this? the Akasha to intentionally repeat the Sub Zero's festival as a sick joke. Hmm. You have a point. Aside from the Dendro Archon, the Academia Sages are the only ones in Sumeru who could pull off something like this. Where are we gonna find Maybe them? there's more to the Akasha than we know. Hello. 
she says she can't uh, give us answers. Right! Didn't you awaken our memories using something that looked like a knowledge capsule? That means you must know something about the Akasha! The Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate, as it is the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace, mm -hmm. and it grants knowledge to the people. Are they hiding the knowledge, though? do that? No wonder the Akasha mm -hmm. is so magical. It's being powered by the Gnosis of Sumeru's Archon. So, uh, this Nahida you mentioned, what did she <laughs> oh, yeah. say? <laughs> she can't hear her. She said, and Paimon quotes, the Akasha relies on the power of the good memory. to operate, as it is the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace, and it grants knowledge to the people. Compiles the wisdom of the entire populace and grants knowledge to the people. Mm, wait. Uh, I'm, I wasn't going to say nothing. I get the grants knowledge part. That's what people have always used the Akasha for. But compiling the entire populace's wisdom? How does that work? Did she mean that the sages enter new knowledge into the Akasha? Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That sounds about right. What do you think? Me? me? Oh, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, it's not from the dreams, not from people dreaming. Information on the Akasha, I don't think so. De it can't be deja vu because everyone's living their lives. Hmm. People from, can they be taken from the dreams or the, uh, the mental? It can't be this, it doesn't make sense on it, I think. It might be the mental, so every time we're wearing this uh, thing, it's uh, taking information from us? Hey, am I even getting this right? My mind feels exhausted, even though I haven't done too much thinking. What is going on? Or are they taking it from the dream? No, I don't think it's from the dreams. It's from our mind. Um. You mean yeah, yeah. the Akasha mm -hmm. is causing our mental fatigue? Huh. Now that I think about it, That's my head's been feeling scary. unusually heavy. When the desert dwellers set off on their quest for knowledge, a sage once said, knowledge, knowledge. always comes at a price. You're mental. Compiling the entire country's <laughs> knowledge. You think the Akasha pulled a 180 mm -hmm. and is extracting information from us? Who knows? The Akasha can put knowledge into our heads, so who's to say that it can't also poke that around? That is scary. And we don't know any specifics. What's the point of doing something like that? Just think about it. If you could combine the knowledge of every single person in Sumeru, mm -hmm. then you can basically turn Sumeru City into a single massive oh, brain. This hive mind could make breakthroughs and, and problems scary. that even the smartest geniuses can't crack. Imagine getting all the geniuses ahead. And the analogy comparing Sumeru City to a massive brain? Love it. <sighs> I love it. <laughs> in that case, we should take off our Akasha terminals right away. Maybe that'll solve this problem. Um, I don't think that'll be that simple though. Everyone's wearing it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was only wearing this for show in the first place. Didn't expect the sages to cook up such a conspiracy. Mark my words. When this is over, I'm getting evidence and exposing this whole thing to the public. I wish you luck. It's gonna be difficult. It's gonna be difficult. How does everyone feel? Hmm, I feel pretty awesome. Huh? What is it? I think I feel... The end of the day? Oh, oh there it is, the sound memory. Remember when we went to sleep? Oh, that! Paimon knows what you're talking about. It's a single soft beep. Oh. It sounds like it's coming from the Akasha terminal. But how did it got into our the head? The sound of a beep. Could it be a prompt tone for when the Akasha is operating? I, 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 I don't know. That's probably an important clue. We weren't using our terminals, but we heard a beep anyway. What is up with this camera angle? Oh! Traveler, did you hear that? I'm pretty sure I heard it. I heard it too. Mm. Our ears aren't messing with us. There was definitely a beep, but it sounded like it was coming from inside my head. Oh, what is this? We it took off our Akasha terminals. What? Where? Where? What's happening here? Oh boy! Oh boy! At this rate, there may be casualties. They're pushing it to the limit. We cannot lose all of our progress. Oh 
boy. Oh, oh boy, this is a little trippy here. I'm turning my head in one of them trying to look at the pictures. Whoa. Wait, 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 wait. I'm wearing it again? What? Paimon remembers everything! <laughs> Good. Oh. You adapted quickly this time. Oh, the day ended. We definitely took off our Akasha terminals last night, but we still heard that beep. Why is that? I think it's because um, we're used to it now. <sighs> but now we can at least confirm one thing. The Akasha definitely has something to do with whatever's trapping us in this cycle. <laughs> oh, Paimon doesn't get it. Why would the Akasha go this far if all it wants is everybody's wisdom? Control everyone? It's extremely difficult for lab rats in an experiment to understand mm. why they're being treated the way they are. We have to break out. If we're lab rats, then what are you? <laughs> Nahida, you've never told us anything about yourself. She's a bigger lab rat. Hmm. I <gasps> guess... I'm the moon. The moon? Wasn't that mm -hmm. the result of our divination? That piece of the, the pie that you bit? Anyway, knowing who I am won't help you get closer to the truth. So you should focus on other Whoa. things. Don't get distracted and miss any clues. <sighs> oh okay, boy. Then. Dia helped us a lot yesterday, so let's go find her. If Paimon's reading the time correctly, those kidnappers should be showing up soon. Oh, oh, time jump. <gasps> this is beautiful. Oh. Ah, there you are. I've already taken care of those kidnappers. My lady, did you get hurt? Huh? Dia? No What's scar. Wrong? Why are you both gawking at me like that? You, you didn't get hurt this time. What? Huh? What do you mean this time? Why are you so surprised that I managed to get out unscathed? Those kids were amateurs. <laughs> I like that scene that they showed. That, that time jump is pretty cool. Shh! How did you know <gasps> about my great sword? I haven't told anyone about it. Please, don't tell Miss Dunier's ad. So Dia's lost her memories after all. They get erased every day, so we start fresh new. Hmm. Anything strange? You already know that I got a new great sword. Hmm. If I had to say something, mm -hmm. muscle this memory. How such a new weapon could right? feel so. Familiar. No mental, no, no, no body. It's body, as if body. I've already used it body to fight memory. a countless number of battles. All right, all right. Get you all these clues in our heads. Although you don't remember using it, your body feels like it does. Mm-hmm. That's right. Both mercenaries and warriors heavily rely on muscle memory. So once you get used Only to it, only knowing the theory of battle won't get you anywhere. Okay. Traveler, what do you think? Maybe I should roll everything. Oh, hopefully I remember everything. Oh boy. Mm. Yeah. Paimon's feeling really hopeful. Okay, okay. Oh, you're right. Earlier in the Samsara, something like this would have never happened. Yep. I have no clue what you two are talking about, but it's still dangerous here, so... So, so you want us to take Dunyarzad somewhere else to rest while you check if there are still more kidnappers around, right? Bingo. How did give, you know what I was going to say? Give some food. Can you read minds? Yes. Uh, Forget it. Go and do your thing. Oh, <gasps> time jump again. Ooh, that looks beautiful. Whew. It's finally night time. Okay. Aside from Dia not getting but injured, why do we wait everything tonight? seems to have stayed the same. Mm, okay. Mm. We observed throughout Listen, the day. Listen, Nahida. We found out that Dia got out just fine today. Even though she got injured every other time she fought the kidnappers. Do you think the samsara has been broken? No. Have we saved Dunyarzad? <laughs> really? Good job on all that progress. <sighs> Get some good sleep tonight. Hey, what kind of an answer is that? Well, she gave us an Tomorrow answer. Tomorrow will come. Mm, let's see if it Everyone resumes. Everyone assumes this is common knowledge. But the only way you can know True. that for sure is if you experience tomorrow. That's smart. How many todays has it been? Fifty. Is it possible no, that 51. today will be followed by yesterday? Does tomorrow truly exist as anything beyond a made-up concept? Oh, I, I it's don't know. It's possible that this entire world is a lie. <laughs> Wait, the what? the history of the whole world has just been one endless of zero festival. How is the outside world doing, okay, like, outside okay, of the area? no more! Paimon's brain is already shut down. 
<laughs> That's why it makes no sense to waste your energy thinking about things you will learn tomorrow. Get some good rest. Oh. You know, use the bathroom and flush your anxiety dookie away. Thank you. Uh, huh? Hold on, what did you just say? Did Paimon hear you correctly? Uh... Huh? What? People always say they feel a sense of relief after they take a doop doop. <laughs> true, That's true. That's why I suggested you could try that. But I don't want to do that when that I'm so sleeping. Uh, it's so strange and so against common sense that Paimon's at a loss for words. He was sounding kind of smart just a minute ago. Uh, let's go to sleep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even though it's happy and lively at the Sub Zero's festival every day. Let's see if it worked out. It feels like it's oh, been a I thought we're sleeping here. Since we've really gotten to relax. Uh, let's go back to our room. Oh boy. Continue the harvest. Have an awesome day and I'll catch you later. Bye bye. They don't care.